Stables, in my opinion, are to create stars. They're to create stars. At some point in time in stables, someone's going to turn. Either they're going to turn heel or they're going to become a face. And we've seen this over the years. And we've seen stars shine outside of stables. I.e. the nation with the rock, the shield. All of them became world champions. And we see now with Big E and uh, Kofi Kingston as a former champion and Big E right now a champion. We can even go all the way as far back to 3MB with Heath Slater, the only one not reigning as a champion. I'll tell you what, if Heath Slater and Xavier Woods ever become any world champions, that's it. I'm, I'm canceling WWE Network and I'm never, ever watching wrestling again. But when you talk about stables, you, these are upcoming stars. See, with the nation, it worked because Farouk was over. He was a former world champion, WCW. He's in the WWE now, and he's bringing up the young guys, The Rock, Mark Henry, D'Lo. Godfather was around, but still pretty green. So it worked with them. And they all, in their own right, became stars. Not so much with stables, that are already that are built and then you just throw guys together and say this is a stable that doesn't work even though we've seen with with the corporate ministry or the undertaker's ministry you had the acolytes with farouk and and bradshaw and then you had edge and christian and then you had midian who was a former godwin and yeah and then you add and then you bring the rock in with DX, Triple H in China, you just got a bunch of stars thrown in there. Those guys, everybody in there was over in their own right. I mean, you had the Brood, Edge and Christian, people knew who they were. It, it, the Godwin twin, well, we knew who he was. He came in as Midian, but, but yet and still. But Farouk and Bradshaw came out of that stable as the Aqualice and became champions, tag team champions. But I'm talking about when you're just throwing guys together. And these are the four I'm talking about. I'm talking about the main event, main event mafia, the union, for whatever reason that was thrown together, fortune, which was TNA just reaching for something, and League of Nations. Let's go to the main event mafia, which was ridiculous. Booker, already over. Sting, over. Nash, over. Scotty Steiner, over. All these guys in WWE and WCW, these guys were over. They were all main eventers. So you throw them all together. And create this angle. Some guys, they can't be heels. And we saw that with Sting. It just didn't, it left a nasty taste in my mouth. TNA was, they were terrible with this. It was good to see some former WCW and uh, former WWE wrestlers coming together in the, this mom and pop organization, whatever, Dixie Carter or Dixie Carter, Jeff Jarrett, whoever was in charge. It was nice to see them. But outside of that, no, it didn't work. Just like with NTNA, Fortune didn't work. Ric Flair is trying to bring together another four horsemen. Rick, it didn't work when you got Mongo, Michael, Benoit, and Malenko. That didn't work. That's the trashiest horseman I ever saw. So you get AJ Styles and James Strong with Bobby Roode as beer money and Kasarian for whatever it was that he did. 
I'm not even going to count Christopher Daniels because he was in and out. That, that, that didn't work. Those were your quote-unquote stars, if that's what you want to call them in TNA. And I don't know what they were doing with the union where they threw Mankind, Test, Shamrock, and Big Show together and called themselves a union. For who? For what? They're walking around with a bunch of Hacksaw Hacksaw Reynolds uh, two-by-fours. Like, that's going to do anything. I, I think that stable lasted for maybe three days. I think they did a pay-per-view or something, and it was a union against... Uh, it could have been a Survivor Series. I don't know. But those guys were over. Test was over. People knew who he was. I just as well watch the job squad with Stevie Richards and Blue Meanie and Al Snow and uh, what is this guy? The Funk Flex Tuco Scorpio. At least we know these guys are jobbers. They call themselves a job squad. But the union? Outside of mankind, none of these guys have personalities. Shamrock for sure didn't. In Big Show, the only time you can get something out of him is if you put him in a stupid angle like he was, was with Big big Boss Man, dragging him out, dragging his father outside of the graveyard. But that didn't work. And then you get the League of Nations with Wade Barrett, Al Alberto Del Rio, Rusev, and Sheamus. Sheamus was a former world champion. So was Alberto Del Rio. Wade Barrett. He had that guy, the Nexus. He had a name. He made a name for himself. He had the Intercontinental title, I believe the U.S. title. And so did Rusev. Why are you putting these guys together and making an angle? I mean, make, making it, making them a stable, and then you want to get angles out of the, the stable, but it doesn't work. X Factor, just incredible, Prince Albert and X-Pac. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Like I said, you get 3MB. They, they were jokes. The oddities, that was a joke. I mean, I, I mean, some angles worked. Raven's Flock worked. That that was good. And then out of that, you got Canyon, you got Kidman, you got Saturn. Van Hammer really didn't work. Sick Boy made me sick to my stomach, and Horace Hogan was exactly what he was, a Hogan. So you so you get some stables at work, and then you get some stables at, it, you know, what, why? Made Event Mafia, why? Union, why? Fortune, why? And League of Nations, why? Leave me a comment in the comment sections of some stables that you feel didn't work. And uh, or give me a call, 1-800-444-H2OS. This is Waters Rant.